To access the image editor, go to Create Campaign or to Campaigns and click Content by the campaign you want to edit. Now, whenever you click an image, you'll see these three options. This is to delete, this is to change the image, and when it's a default image, this also means changing the image. So let's click Change. Let's choose a new image. And now to change the image, you can click the image. This time you see the alt text you can change and the image editor is here. Now let's click it. And here we have many options starting from the bottom. Usually we edit images on our desktop, but this just allows for some quick fixes in case you forgot something or you want to add something quickly. So you can see the little clouds added. You can make it lighter or stronger by using this little switch here. And if you go to the top, you can just click none if you don't want that. We have some frames here you can use. A brush tool. Some stickers, shapes. some text design you, you may want to use. Just put in your text. You can change the size, etc., etc. Doesn't look too pretty, but just I'm just I just wanted to show you quickly how these things work. Here is a text field with different types of things you can do with colors and this just adds a focus effect. And th these are very many adjustments you can do here. Saturation, brightness, darkness. This doesn't look too good. So let's close it. I didn't save it. So what's going to happen is nothing is going to happen. Let's go back to the image editor here. Now we're back. The next thing we have are filters. These are th these are this is the default view. So you can change the filters if needed to uh, adjust to your design. And the resolution is here. This is the custom resolution and you can change it just by dragging these little corners here. Just make sure once you're done to use this little blue button here. Instead of doing this, what you could do is lock the resolution here. This is actually locking the dimensions. And if for some reason you want to make this image smaller, you can do that. It will lock the dimensions. The quality will be lower in this case, of course. And here you can change. I mean, you can flip the image upside down if you need to do that. And let's go back with that. Here you have some rotating options. That's too much. And you can always reset it to default right over here. Now, remember, when you're done with this part, the transformation part, just remember to click this little blue check mark here and click Save. Now, the reason this image is so small is because I changed the resolution. So you can also see the, the image looks pretty bad because the resolution is so small. After I clicked that check mark, it changed. But what you could always do is go back to the image manager, just click the image and change this image. Go back to the original one. Because every time you change the image in the image editor and you click save, what happens is a new image is created. You can just go back to the original one and you can start editing again if needed right over here. In this case, I'm gonna just add a quick black and white filter. Oops, a little too dark, so let's adjust the brightness here. Okay, that's the look I want. Save, and there we go. We now have this old-fashioned look to it. If you like it, you can do something like this. If not, just play around with the editor. I hope this tutorial was helpful, and as usual, I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, 
And of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again and see you in the next video.